I love Vanuatu, and if a romantic, luxurious, relaxing break is what you're looking for, let me show you some gorgeous places to stay and play. The Havana's incredible Nakamal is the centrepiece of this resort, and thanks to Friedrich's knowledge of cyclones, he tied it down so it wasn't damaged. The rest of the resort was a different story, but as you can see, it's looking just amazing now. No kids under 16 are allowed here, so this resort is ideal for a honeymoon or a luxury escape. Each day, the chef prepares whatever the local fishermen have caught. Today, it's yellowfin tuna, which is brought into the kitchen and served immediately. It absolutely melts in the mouth. At the botanical gardens, they grow their own flowers and sandalwood to create lotions and potions and soaps and smellies, and this is a lovely stop for a massage. I really love the terraces for its minimal, stylish decor. You get your own plunge pool in your two-storey apartment. And how cool is this bathtub that fills from the roof? Then head out to the infinity pool with a mag to relax and overlook this view. At Breakers Resort, the pool is the centrepiece, surrounded by the dining room and lounge spaces. A hammock in front of the beret is the ideal place to find me, or my mate. Or you might like Nasama, which has this incredible pool and a clear space of beach for playing in the sea. As I sit in the massage hut drinking it all in. What I really love about Vanuatu are cool places like this beachside bar to watch the sunset right in the middle of town. It's so relaxing and is a little piece of paradise to have a laugh with friends and share a cocktail. So for a luxury holiday, I'd definitely look at Vanuatu.